the dumbest people I've ever seen in YouTube comments are the ones that know everything. Today, I'm going to tell you all about privacy tones, CTCSS tones, PL tones, DPL tones, DCS tones. We're going to talk about tones and codes and subchannels. I will explain why you might want to use them, why you might not want to use them, and when you must use them. As always, I will try to keep this video short and to the point. I will not waste your time with a stupid intro with fancy graphics and music because this is not the six o'clock news. This is a YouTube video. Apparently many other YouTube channels don't realize this and they do not respect your time like I do. I know that your time is very, very valuable. Privacy tones, sub channels, CTCS tones, PL tones, DPL tones, they're all terms for the same thing. Although there are some technical differences between some of them, they all accomplish the same thing. And because they all do pretty much the same thing, for simplicity's sake, because I am a very simple boy, for simplicity, from here on out, I will just refer to them as a group, as a whole, as tones or codes so that we can all follow along together. As I just mentioned, all of these tones, codes, whatever, whatever we call them, they all do pretty much the same thing, but what they do not do, what none of them do, even the privacy codes, what none of them do is provide any privacy in any way, shape, or form on any radio. Anybody that tells you that they provide any level of privacy or security is either lying to you or is an idiot or in a worst case scenario both because this whole topic of tones and codes and subchannels and privacy tones is so confusing and because some people some people still have trouble understanding or believing that privacy tones and codes are not private in any way i made an entire video explaining how these tones, codes, subchannels, and even privacy tones and codes are not private. And on that video, many YouTube experts still left comments telling me that I was wrong and that they do indeed provide privacy when using them. So for all those YouTube experts that still believe that privacy tones or codes provide any level of privacy whatsoever, allow me to take a moment to explain it again in a way that even they can understand. Are you ready? You might want to take notes. Listen closely. You are an idiot. Stop leaving comments on YouTube videos. So if none of these tones and codes and subchannels and privacy channels, if none of them provide any privacy, then why should anyone use them? Why are they even there? Well, they're mostly there so that radio manufacturers can trick stupid people into thinking that they do provide some sort of privacy and apparently, based on the comments left on my videos and that I see all over YouTube, they're doing a good job of that. But the most common use for these tones, codes, privacy channels, subchannels, I, I know I said I was going to call them just tones from here on out. I lied. The most common use is for if you're talking to someone, your friend, your buddy, or your group on a busy channel. Instead of just changing channels to a channel where there's not other people talking and that's more quiet, instead of doing that, you could just use tones or a subchannel, not a subchannel, it's just another name for a code or a tone. You could enable them on both radios and then you would only hear each other talking. You wouldn't hear anyone else talking on that busy channel unless those people talking were also using the same code or tone or subchannel. Using tones this way works as a nuisance filter. It will filter everyone else on the channel out so that you only hear your friend who is also using the same tone or code or subchannel privacy code so now on the busy channel you only hear you and your friend that are sharing the same tone but it does not provide any privacy because everyone else within range on that channel can still hear you two talking you can't hear them the tone or the code has filtered them out you don't hear them but they can still hear you and this is why it does not provide any privacy because everybody else can still hear you talking. Allow me to explain that again. I will do it more slowly this time for the YouTube experts that still don't get it. If you and your friend both enable a privacy tone, a subchannel, a CTS code, a DPL code, a DCS code, it doesn't matter. If you are both using the same one, he talks, 
he hears you. He talks, he hears you. You only hear each other. You don't hear anybody else on the channel talking unless that person is sharing that same code. Everybody else on the channel can hear everything you're saying. No privacy. And if that's not enough, it is also easy for anyone listening to use their radio to scan your transmission and read what tone you're using. They're hearing you talk either way, but if their radio supports tone scanning, they can scan when you're talking and their radio will tell them what tone you're using. They can then punch that tone into their radio and join your private conversation. Another reason for using a tone or a code is to use a repeater. On virtually all repeaters, not all, virtually all, most repeaters, you need a tone or a code on your radio in order to connect to that repeater and make it activate and transmit what you're saying. The repeater listens for whatever tone or code the repeater owner set it up to listen to, and then it only activates when it hears someone transmitting with that tone or code. This helps keep the riffraff off of the repeater, but it does not secure that repeater in any way. It does make it a little bit more difficult for somebody to use the repeater if they don't know the code, but it is pretty easy for anyone to figure out what the code is to use the repeater. For you experts that don't believe that, watch that video right there. And finally, the best reason, the most important reason to use a tone or a code on your radio There are no other reasons. If you have any questions about what just happened, or if you know of any other good reasons to use a tone, leave a comment below.